Good afternoon. Yes, afternoon. I have been busy this morning. Plus, I slept in longer than I think I have in about, oh, I was going to say 10 years, but maybe five years, to be honest with, like, to be honest with you. About five years, yeah. I really slept in bad this morning. It was uh, 20 after 8 when I woke up. I think what happened was my, my system needed to catch up on the sleep I've been missing the last couple of mornings. Anyway, enough about my sleep. Uh, later on, I went outside and I, uh, I put the battery charger on my neighbor's car. He's coming home. He'll be coming home the day after tomorrow. And uh, actually tomorrow night late. And uh, it's been sitting out there just where you, where you see it for uh, half a year, literally. It hasn't been run, no charger on it. So when I went out, the first thing I did was I took my voltmeter out and I, I checked the voltage. And it uh, was 1.9 something something volts. In other words, just under 2 volts. That's all. That was it. I thought there would have been more, but there wasn't. Anyway, the battery charger's on it now. I guess probably what happens is the computer and the car are drawing constantly. It's, it, it just slowly takes everything eventually. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I've only got a 6 amp uh, battery charger, so we're going to leave it on. I'm going to leave it on for until later this afternoon. And uh, then I'll go out and see if, you know, what happens. Uh, I know it's not my problem, but I might as well, you know, help the guy out. Anyway, now, oh, okay, we are going to work on this a little bit this afternoon, probably not a lot. Uh, today's episode is probably going to be short. Now, I know that just about every time I say that, it turns out to be long, but we'll see. This time, I really do think it's going to be short, because there, there's more stuff I want to do, you know, outside this afternoon. Uh, so let's let's just uh, recompose here and uh, zoom in on this and uh, yeah see what we can do with it uh, it's it's going to be uh, um, I, I think it really is going to be hard because a couple of viewers indicated that they had trouble with it so uh, that kind of scares me in a way either that or maybe it, it makes it a little bit more of a challenge I want to show haha I could do it <laughs> But I don't know, it's, uh, let's just uh, stop talking about it and let's just bumble through this. As for the sunrise that I slept completely through this morning, well, we did have one. Now, yesterday I was talking about, you know, a photo etch bender that was, had a very sharp edge. And I don't know if you remember, this is something I had made up. Uh, out of a hinge, it's just an ordinary hinge, and I had I had filed it down, got it nice and sharp on the edge there, and I'm wondering if I think what happened was when Andy saw this thing, he felt sorry for me and made the real thing. But I am wondering if in this case would this sharp edge actually bend that very very skinny little joint that it has to bend, or or should I? not mess around with it. See, the problem is, if I do put, put the part in there, oh, you know what? It's not going to fit. Because they, these, uh, I think this goes too far back. I think maybe I, I best not mess around with this. But this, this unless I was to put, put, put this piece on a piece of plexiglass here and then press it down like that, but then there's the, the risk of it moving yeah, I think I'd best not play with it. Anyway, we are exactly where we left off yesterday when Gabe pulled into the yard. And when we were going to try this, I think I think I do have it adjusted pretty good here. And uh, and we want to try and lift this up. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to end up with these long parts here kind of bold if you know what I mean so maybe I'll have to put something underneath this razor blade to, to keep it square 
or to, to keep it flat rather. Otherwise, you can sort of see what what could happen here. Um, okay, let me let, let me recompose. I'll stick the macro lens on. We'll get in a little closer, not as close as we could get, but just a little closer. Okay, I think we're tightened down here pretty good. And what I have going on here is a uh, credit card. And I was using it, I made it as a as a scraper back when I was doing this, uh, a hull seam with putty. I can't remember which build it was, but, but I'm thinking if I can slip this underneath like this, it'll help. And then I'll just bend everything up. Now, it, it, the chances of it bending where it's supposed to uh, is, is practically zilch. It, it's just not going to happen. It's going to either be just ahead of that or just behind it. So, whoops. It's, it is starting to bend already. Got to hold this in at the same time, and that's not working out too good, is it? Just let me check the monitor. Can you still see this? Okay. Hmm. You know, part of the fun of this build is trying to video it and, and having a difficult videoing situation and overcoming the problems. Oh my goodness, I'm getting fumbly here. I wonder if maybe now I don't need that card. Maybe let's see what happens here. Let's put my finger in behind it. I'm going real slow here to watch and see what's happening. Well, it's about at right angles. But the chances of it having bent in the right place are practically zip. Where is it zilch? Where's my uh, tweezers now? Well, we'll use Tony's. Now I, we have to bend, oh, you know what? I am wondering if I, maybe I should have bent one of the other lines first. Okay, you know what this means now? This means I'm going to get to use my new to me pliers. And what I will do is I will put, put the plier on, on this thing and then I will still use Andy's bender but as a flat base. And then I can just sort of twist everything over. Okay, why don't I stop talking about it and then try and attempt it here. Okay, I was just looking at this thing. And I have uh, come to the conclusion I'm going to have to flatten it back out. Because it should have bent. It's, it's bent too far to your left. And I, I would prefer, I think, that yeah, I think that I should be able to straighten it at least one time. I might have to do this whole operation off camera. That might be the safest way to go. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it off camera here and then we'll look at it afterwards. Okay, I've got it flattened out here now. But I'm, I'm looking at our drawing here. And I cannot see any way that this part can be bent around so that it ends up looking looks looks like this after you're done it, it just it just doesn't look right let me find something sharp to point out with here okay you, you can see where, where where it comes along it goes down in the back then it curves back and then where it comes up and we have this little maybe the other end would work better we have this, this little part right here that, that you see going along like this. Well, that, that doesn't look anything like this. Because this is the piece that will have gone 
down and around. You know, I can sort of see where we can get the, the back here to look like this. Or, or hey, wait a minute, or is, maybe, maybe I've got that wrong. No, th th I just can't see how it's supposed to go. Uh, California Paul was saying that uh, he, he ordered one of these and already made up and the price wasn't too bad. But I'm so, so stubborn that I think what I'm probably going to try to do, unless I really mash this thing up, I'm going to try and make it look like something believable around that little little box that we made made up a couple of days ago. Okay, once again, I'm going to have to try and mess around with this off camera. Okay, I know that I have bent it wrong. Thought I'd just throw that in. Otherwise, I'll be getting comments saying you bent it wrong. I know that, but I can't see any way to bend that part to end up looking like this. So this is what I've come up with here. Okay, I just, I bent it very simply. And we're, what I'm going to try to do now, is you can see all these little holes in the, in here. Well, I don't know if I can do this on camera or not, but I want to see if I can feed these antenna thingies through those holes. Now, I wonder if maybe I should put this piece in a piece of blue tack so it doesn't keep moving around on me. And just, uh, and then I can just sort of drop the, okay, so I've got to get it something like this. Maybe if I come in at an angle and just sort of feed them in, I, I might be able to kind of do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get myself a piece of blue tack here and make up some sort of a jig. I'll try to do it on camera. It'd be kind of fun. Okay, we've got ourselves a little bit of blue tack here and we're going to use Andy's bender here as a base because it it won't slide around. Now, I can't have the blue tack coming too far up over this edge here because we got to go down past this edge. So, we've got to get it positioned here so that those prongs will clear that. All right, now, are we still in focus here for our holes? More or less. Um, maybe I should see if I can move in just a little closer here and then you can uh, feel my frustration. Okay, I've got my lens stopped right down now and uh, I caught this one here and I kind of bent it a little bit but I think it'll be okay. Now, if I put it in like this, it's going to be the wrong way so I've got to turn this whole thing over. There we go. Anyway, we, we, we got a nice and uh, good depth of field, but the holes are not quite as as sharp as they would otherwise be if I was, you know, down around F11 or something. And right now, it's, I think it's at F52 or some crazy amount. Um, okay, so there's one, two, three short prongs and then a long one. So I got to go one, two, three, four. We'll get this first one I'm holding it at a bit of an angle in the fourth hole. Are they going to fit? Hey, they they don't they don't want to fit. Okay, well you know what that means, eh? Hey, are you Canadian or something? Okay, uh, I'm going to have to drill out these holes. Make them a little bigger. Yeah, these, these these things don't fit. Trumpeter. 
Okay, I was just about going to start here, and uh, then I realized that chances are I'm going to end up moving Andy's bender. So what we're going to do here is try to just gently tape it down. It'll just help. Okay, now, I did line this up a few minutes ago in my vision here, but I have not drilled out any holes. And <clears throat> at the moment, the way the microscope is adjusted, I can, I can see all of the holes all the way across. Um, I may have to move my... Okay, the ones on the right are a little bit out of sight, but I think I can... I think I can do this here. Oh. Okay. Yes. This is not going to work. Okay, I'm going to have to fasten this down a little better, as as you can see, because it screws its way in there. Now I got to get that out of there without. Uh, got to get it out without it. Uh... <laughs> this is actually fun, believe it or not. Ooh. Okay, there, I got it out. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a different vise. Uh, I think maybe even the helping hands aren't going to be strong enough. Okay, I know this looks like overkill, but these shouldn't move. And what I've done is I've got a piece of foam foam rubber here on the jaws of this large clamp. And hopefully I can get everything adjusted here. Get it at a bit of an angle so I can come in with my drill. Now that's probably enough. Let's see if I can. Okay, I would think we're going to be able to see that. Sorry to get my hands in your way there. I'm just trying to get it adjusted so that the, all the holes will show up. And let me check the monitor here. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to have to move this whole thing over un underneath the. Uh, my field of view here and, and re refocus. Got to get up a little bit higher. Okay. Now it's gone from the macro lens. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, okay, we'll, we'll get the uh, macro lens all set up and we'll, we'll try this again. Okay, I think we're ready to go here again. And uh, just have to be really careful I don't bump anything out of the field of view for the macro lens. Like with my shirt, maybe I should take my smart device out here. It doesn't catch on anything. Mind you, if it's so smart, it wouldn't catch on something, right? Okay. Now, I'm probably going to have to move these along as I go. Check the, the view there. 
Okay, we've already done hole number one. So here we go with hole number two. My goodness, like a well-oiled machine here. I'm move this over a bit. We'll get the last of them. Let's see, can you still see them? Oh yeah. Oh, the ISO is really cranked right now because I don't have my, I don't have the spotlight on. No, careful, Ron. Okay, we got them all, and uh, it's 18 minutes after two right now. I think I'm gonna have to wind this up pretty quick here. Well, folks, I'm gonna have to do something that I don't think I've done for quite a while, and that's have a really abrupt ending. Yeah, I was gonna show you something that Gabe had emailed me about this morning that he had he had meant to show us and he'd forgotten, but I'm gonna have to do that now in tomorrow's episode. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.